Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome well, back? Back to Monkey Island series. Welcome to the new Let's Play. Um, uh, this was a uh, poll put on my Patreon, and there was a tie, so I decided to continue with Monkey Island, Tales of Monkey Island. Uh, this is a Telltale game, so it's in five chapters. As I think, well, all the ones I've played are, all the ones are theirs that I've played. This is chapter one, Launch of the Screaming Narwhal. Now, I don't know if that's an act. It says resume, resume game. Is that, is, do you actually have saves? Okay. I was confused because it had res, has resume game. Um, let's just begin, shall we? That's probably the thing to do at this point, is to start. So we shall. Oh, ready to start a new game. Yes. Uh-oh. Sam just died. Probably finished my thought. Um, I have actually played this this one chapter before many, 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 many years ago. So I might remember some things as we go. I might not just faff about and be completely stupid as I normally am in puzzle games. At last, my victory is at hand. <laughs> Behold. The legendary 13th monkey of Montevideo, whose sacrifice will eternally bind the oceans themselves to my infernal will. <laughs> Impressed you? But half as much as I'll be when Guybrush guts your diseased carcass with his voodoo cutlass, you doddering sack of scum. I wouldn't hold your breath waiting for any last minute heroics, my dear. The last I saw of your mighty pirate husband. He was being torn apart by a school of my ravenous piranha poodles. All right, LeChuck, put down the monkey and back away from my wife. Goodness! Ah, three foot! You led me a merry chase, but soon the dread mysteries of these ancient simians will be mine, and the seas will run <laughs> red with the blood of my enemies. <laughs> oh, Like a... No time to waste, Guybrush. Finish enchanting that sword before LeChuck completes his spell. I'm on it. One LeChuck defeating cursed Cutlass of Kavlu coming up. Now, where did I leave those handy voodoo instructions? The pinned to your mast. Oh, yeah. All oh, right. Uh, so I do this, do I? So uh, I'm just going to... Because I normally... Uh, normally I just do this straight away, but apparently this... Why are subtitles off? Why are subtitles off by default? That is so silly. Ah, resume. That's what the resume is, so they just keep that right. Okay. For the last time. Come to Guybrush, you spooky voodoo recipe, you. Well, I had to sail six of the seven major seas to find the ingredients, but I finally finished the cutlass. Almost. Almost. Now all I need to do is find some fizzy root beer to spray on it, and LeChuck says it's good as toast. Nicky disease toast. Okay, so we need to find root beer. Not great, that's a cannon. <laughs> oh, the time to the Chuck. Nope. Nothing in there but a decade's worth of fantastic pirate booty. But isn't that where the root beer will be? <laughs> For the last time, the Chuck, I'm just not that into you. Monkey coffin. Ah, the legendary monkey casket of Kauai. I'll never forget the horrible hula of Hades I had to do to get this thing. Is this thing sloshing? More words you don't want to hear when you pick up a coffin. Move the to the right edge of the screen so the tab that appears. No, but how do I open it? Oh, select the ma- Oh, there's a magnifying glass. I wonder how you open this thing. Aha! A seltzer bottle full of root beer. I haven't seen one of these since before I had a beard. Bet this stuff will work wonders on my cutlass. Uh, right. Oh, oh, we put it in here. Okay. All right. Time to give this cutlass a root beer shower. Yes. What? Root beer? 
What kind of second-rate voodoo seltzer bottle has flat root beer? Okay, so we have to combine that with the fizzy mints. Okay. Oh, this city. Alright, there we go. And now we put that on there. Prepare to meet your frosty carbonated maker, LeChuck. Come and get me, you dirt digging dirty dipper! Stop showboating and spray the sword, Guybrush! I'm not showboating, I'm. <laughs> Whoa! Oops! Now we're going to die. Again. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, no problem. I just need to find a fresh supply of impossible to find voodoo root beer. I sure hope there's some on a lane ship, because mine's as dry as a bone. And not one of those wet bones. I'm talking a dry, dry bone. Get on with it. Have you no heart, LeChuck? Elaine, my beautiful butter! What? I said, Elaine, my beautiful butter! My beautiful butter? I was gonna say buttercup, but you keep cutting me off. Oh, guy brush. Now stop the chuckle, we're all dead. Um... Throw me the rope. Elaine, you've got inordinately strong thighs. See if you can swing me that rope. It's not long enough, but I've got a better idea. Okay, that's a way of getting across, I suppose. How'd you do that? You don't spend several years at the side of Guybrush Threepwood, the mighty pirate, without picking up a few tricks, no. Well, you? someone's gotta have tricks. My ship! My booty! My collection of autographed sextants! We'll buy you some more sextants later, just stop the chuck! Ah, Threepwood! Hello! So good of you to join us! Saves me the trouble of having to sink your ship! Oh dear. Use a map for you. Okay. Yes. Yes! Do that on a lane. Brace yourself. I'm gonna cut you free. Cut through these ropes with that sword? Are you crazy? Yes. Crazy and love, baby. You just worry about the chuck, sweetheart. I'll be okay. Okay. Right. So. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, grog. It's Elaine's barrel of light grog. It's like real grog, only without the taste, of calories, or debilitating blackouts. Do we use that? Mmm, a wet cutlass. Just what I've always wanted. So that wasn't the right thing to do. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Or later tonight. Hey. Okay. So, do I put those in first? Dizzy hmm. low-cal grog. I bet I can make a fortune selling this to, well, no one. Yeah, but isn't that what we need for this? It's fizzy. Does that count? Hmm. A wet cut. No. Just... What's who do we? Chuck the plant. Those roots could really use a trim. Okay, is that what I meant to do with this then? Let's see if we can cut back some of those unruly. Oh, it's root beer, fizzy root beer. There, much neater. So we put there the root in the grog. Now that's some fizzy root grog. I bet it still tastes like monkey snuff though. And then we use the voodoo. There we go. Okay, you barrel of disgusting locale goo. Make yourself useful. Right. Booyah! Look out, LeChuck. Here comes Guybrush Threepwood's glowing sword of hot monkey vengeance. Then hot monkey avenge. Oh, that looks bad. <laughs> hey, LeChuck. Guy. I would like an opportunity to use this ward, but alright. <laughs> there we go. Oh. LeChuck! Do you mind? I'd be in the middle of an unholy ceremony here. Unholy this! Unholy this? Yeah, I know, but he didn't give me much to work with. Hey! Ah, you can't defeat me that easily, sheep good. Wait, what's happening? 
For the monkeys, LeChuck. What are you doing? Finish him! It's not me, it's my hand. It won't. Uh oh. Oh, that's bad. Elaine! Guybrush? I agree, monkey man. Wait, what? Uh, what? They're sinking? I was just jamming into the music. I do love the Monkey Island theme. Oh, is that the voodoo recipe? We might need that later. To deal with the hand. Loads of paper. That really doesn't look healthy. Really? Ahoy there, me hearty! What? Don't worry! We'll have you up and sucking back a grog in... No! My dote! My beautiful pirate dote! I'll get you for this, you craven build rat! Sorry, I don't know what got... into me. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Oh, this can't be good. You know, you really should have that look, that kid. Huh? The name's Nippercat. Davy Nippercat. Senior reporter, Keel Hollow Gazette. Welcome to Flotsam Island. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Actually, I... Great! What's your name, where'd you come from, and how'd you get here? Um... My name is... not important. No, I'm Guybrush, Mighty Pi... Guybrush Threeput, Mighty Pirate. That's what we always say. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, and... Pirate, eh? Well, I believe it when I see it, kid. Still, it'd be nice to have a real genuine pirate buckling his swash around Flotsam Island again. Um... Why, I haven't had an honest-to-goodness pirate story to write about in over six months. You're right. Yes, sir, Bob. Nothing like the promise of a good pirate story to get the old journalistic juices flowing again, says hey. I. Say, just listen to me prattling on while you stand there all wet and confused and whatnot. So, what's your story, Creepwood? Yeah, I can get back to Elaine. This island looks, uh, lovely, but where can I find a ship? I really need to get back to the Rock of Gelato and find my wife. Well, there's only one ship here on Flotsam Island, but it won't do you any good. Why not? It's the winds, Creepwood. The winds! Here on Flotsam Island, the winds are always blowing inward 24 hours a day, 365 days a year! It's a freak of nature, a fluke, a curse. Whatever you want to call it, the result is the same. Once you've landed on Flotsam Island, you're trapped! Are you seriously telling me there's no way off this island? Well, not by ship, anyway. The only person who I think might know a way off the island is Deep Gut. Like <laughs> Mother here? No, that's harsh. On Gut's usually more wide than Deep. Deep Gut? What's a deep gut? Deep gut's my secret source for off-island news stories, and it's a good thing, too. Without the gut's uncanny inter-island scoops, the Keel Hollow Gazette would never be able to compete with those snowy prima donnas over at the Flats and Times. Off-island news? Hey, then he might know something about Elaine. Where can I find this deep gut? Hold on a second, pirate boy. 
David J. Nippikin doesn't go handing over his secret sauces to every Tom, Dick, and Guy brush that washes ashore. But I can pay you, with treasure, from my ship. Which is probably at the bottom of the ocean by now. Look, kid, you seem like a nice enough pirate, so I'll make you a deal. Uh, no blood signatures. A deal? Yeah. Off Island news is nice and all, but the fair citizens of Flotsam are getting tired of stories about faraway lands they'll never see again. Not to mention that I hate being beholden to this deep gut person. So? So I need some nice, meaty, local pirate news. I love making pirate news. That's the spirit, kid! You can translate that moxie into news-making pirate mayhem, and I'll hand you deep gut on a silver platter. Yeah, this'll be a snap. A snap. A snap. Ow! My sides are splitting. Launch of the Screaming Narwhal, everyone. Where's, where's, the, where's the... Where's the... Where's the Monkey Island humor? It's, there isn't any. That up. Well, that's not gonna work. No. Right, so let's see if there's anything we can do in these places. Sign. Attention! Club 41, Flotsam Island's most prestigious pirate organization, is no longer accepting new applications for membership. Thank you for your continued interest and please go away. Can I go in anyway? Card? What card? Right, so we need a card to get in there. Printer's ink. The lifeblood of the newspaper industry. Lovingly harvested from squid udders. Oh, I remember you. Wind still sucks. Watson Island endures 1,138 straight day of unwelcome winds. Three years. Ouch. Nipperkin wasn't kidding about news being slow on Flotsam. Hey. Whoever built this jail really wanted to put the burr in Brig. Those eye carvings are creepy. I smell a puzzle. Do I really want to talk to you again? I don't know. So I won't. It's locked. No one allowed in there but Keel Hall or employees, Leapwood. You're thinking of becoming a reporter? Oh, heck no. No. Any I, news? I want something resembling integrity. Flower. Sign, courthouse. Hear ye, hear ye. Owing to the unprecedented downturn in criminal activity on Flotsam Island, I've locked up the courthouse and taken a long delayed three month sabbatical. Please don't break any laws until I return, or else. Sincerely, Judge Grindstone. Okay, so we want to break some laws. 